are here in the Digital Economy Working Group of the E15 Initiative. We are here thinking about the world now that digital technologies like 3D printing, e-commerce, big data are making it so much easier for companies to, uh, to make, to market, to move products around the world. Uh, these are opening new opportunities, even for the smaller businesses, to engage in trade. Opening countries, tremendous opportunities to engage in exports, to um, um, advance entrepreneurship, and to promote inclusive trade. And this is what we all are, of course, uh, intended to generate uh, as we participate in the global trading system and certainly in this working group. Now, the challenges before us are twofold. Uh, one is that there are still some barriers to the movement of products and services and, and data in this digital economy. And the second is that a lot of countries are still not connected fully to the opportunities that this digital economy lends. Most people are not online, most businesses don't have websites and so on. And so the challenges for us are looking at uh, trade policies, how trade policies can be uh, rebooted, if you will, for the, for the 21st century, particularly to enable the small companies around the world to engage in trade and, and profit and, and generate um, new, new profits and businesses. And, and furthermore, to think about how trade facilitation, the tra breakthrough on trade facilitation agreement, can be applied to the digital economy, enable the trade of small businesses. And finally, to think about more broadly about trade and development. How can we go and bridge finally bridge those digital divides that have uh, been around for 20 plus years. Uh, but now, how can we take these technologies, public-private partnerships, and actually go and bridge them in the interest of, of the global trading system and, and for all the small businesses to engage in, in the global economy? So that's what we're tackling here.